French-Swedish physicist Anne Lullier didn't see it coming. She got the call telling her she'd won the Nobel Prize in Physics when she was halfway through giving a lecture at the University of Lund, where she works. So I asked the student to finish earlier, and um, I think they guessed. But uh, it, it, was, uh, it was fun, it was difficult to do the rest of the lecture. Lullier is only the fifth woman to win the prize in physics. The first was Marie Curie in 1903. This bad trend is, is changing at the moment. There will be more and more uh, women uh, in the future. So I'm very pleased to uh, contribute. Lullier shares the prize with two other scientists for their research into electrons. French-born Pierre Agostini couldn't believe it when he learnt the news from his daughter. My daughter called me and uh, she was asking, is it true that you have the Nobel Prize? <laughs> of course, I told her, no, this can't be true. Hungarian-born Ferenc Krauss was able to celebrate the good news with colleagues at the Max Planck Institute, where he was giving a talk on his work at an open house event. I actually couldn't really grasp it. I still can't, actually. In the end, it is a very nice feeling to see that it was all worthwhile not to get discouraged after the setbacks, but to continue on the path undeterred. And that is perhaps the most important lesson for me. Krauts credited his colleagues in the field, calling his win an achievement for all of them. The three scientists, who worked separately, were awarded 11 million Swedish krona for their research creating ultra-short pulses of light that can give a snapshot of changes within atoms. Their work has made it possible to examine moves or changes so rapid that they were previously impossible to follow, with potential applications in both electronics and the detection of disease.